Hello everyone! It's a tutorial on how to change the field of view permanently in the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. Long story short, there is no field of view slider in the game settings, as you may have guessed. However, I will show you how to change your field of view permanently. Probably some people know how to change it through the console panel, but are not able to save it permanently, so let me guide you through each step. Here you can see the default field of view that I currently have, and as you can observe, it's slightly too close on the screen. You cannot fully see my entire sword and hand, which is somewhat inconvenient. So let's open the console. To open the console panel in Skyrim, you typically use the tilde key, which is located on the top left corner of the most keyboards, just below the escape key. Type in FOV, followed by a space, then the desired number, another space, and once again the same number. Yes, you need to input the number twice. For example, for me FOV 100 100 is the best match. Nevertheless, feel free to change this value to your preference. However, the edit to the FOV doesn't save if you exit the game or respawn through F9. I will show you how to save your FOV changes in a few seconds, but when doing that, I want to warn you that it will have some consequences such as a red tint to your loading screen icons, which can be fixed only by tinkering with the game files, unfortunately. And I am not 100% sure if you will fix that when having a lot of mods installed, but it is easy to fix Skyrim without mods for sure. But anyway, I will show you how to fix that in both cases. So, after entering your desired FOV value, you need to press Enter, then type Save INI and hit Enter again. When you do this, the game will seem like it's frozen for a few seconds, but let it process. Your changes will be successfully saved. Then, save your game as well. The problem with the red tint occurs when you use the save INI command in your console, and consequently in the INI file titled Skyrim Custom, for example, which is located in the following folder. The following lines occur. They create this reddish color on the menu and loading screens. You can manually find them in the specific configuration file and simply delete them, saving the file after making changes, assuming that you haven't installed any mods to Skyrim. But that will not work if you have hundreds of mods installed, because those mods have INIs that are needed for the mod to function, and they have been probably changed by the command save INI in your console, adding those strings, or even created new ones somewhere in the game folders or mods folders. Consequently, there are other INI files somewhere that will still cause this reddish tint. It's quite hard to find them manually from this point, so to solve this problem, we need to use any software that allows us to search in multiple INI files at once and and automatically replace or delete needed lines. I've used one called GrabWin. Before downloading the file, always check it for viruses. I have downloaded a portable version titled like this. Open the program. For the sake of example, I will show you how to find those INI files that have those lines inside them, which we need to delete. We will scan the documents folder where Skyrim saves are, where the INI files titled Skyrim Custom is, as well as possibly other INI files that may contain those strings. So follow me. First of all, click on the three dots up here and choose the following location. Click on Select Folder. Then choose this option. In the field Search for, by clicking on the slash button, paste the appeared window with those lines and click OK. Then click the search button. In the search results field, you will find a list of INI files that contain those lines. Now click on the replace button. In the appeared window, click OK. Click on the three dots up here again and choose another location. Now we need to scan the Skyrim game folder itself, where you have installed your game. So go to the Skyrim folder, data folder and click on select folder. Then click the search button again. In the search results field you will find a list of INI files that contain those lines. Now click on the replace button. In the appeared window click OK. It is worth mentioning that if you are using Mod Organizer 2, you might have to find those INI files in your Mod Organizer 2 directory as well. The INIs will be there. Do the same steps as in the previous case. If you have other mod loaders for Skyrim anywhere else, or other related to mods things installed for Skyrim outside the previously mentioned folders, check and edit that INIs in those folders as well, using this method. Now, you have successfully wiped out this reddish color from the menu and loading screens. However, using the save INI command in your console again will bring it back and you will need to repeat those steps. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it will help you.